Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model design strips for a complex lab example in RAM concept. In this video, we will review the default design strips around the small slab opening and add design sections as needed. So let's start in the longitude direction. Now for convenience, I have the design sections displayed in the design strip layer. To go ahead and do that, you can take a look at your visible objects and go to your design strip. You can see I have this cross sections option selected. This will give me a better idea about where the design sections are in relationship to where the opening is. Now what you're going to notice in this direction is that the design sections do not pass through the opening. In this scenario, the opening will have no effect on the cross-sectional areas used in the design checks and the extents of the program reinforcement will extend through the opening. If I didn't have the design sections turned on, I would notice that the hatching is also going through that opening, which is another clue that this opening avoided the cross sections. Now let's take a look at the latitude direction. In this direction, you're going to notice that the opening intersects some of the cross sections. And let's zoom in a little bit more because this is the set, the direction I'm a little bit more concerned with. Now when this occurs, the opening will reduce the area of the cross sections, causing some cross sections to be narrower than others. Now I can see that happening for both the small and the large opening in the column strip that's basically to the north of each of those. We have a narrower cross section than the typical cross sections in the field of the slab. You will also notice that there are no design strips in any of the areas that are not hatched. And for this small opening, I could see that happening to the south of that opening in the middle strip area. So let's go ahead and take a look at the reinforcement to see what the results of this scenario is. So I'm going to specifically take a look at the latitude direction. And you're going to notice that I've already performed a preliminary calculation for this particular model. So let's take a look at the reinforcement starting in the vicinity of the narrow strips to the north side of the opening. You will notice that the program reinforcement is placed according to the narrower strips without distributing the bars into the extra width in the wider cross sections. And we could see that with bars such as these, let's zoom in a little bit more, these bars. You could see the extent of those are basically aligning with the narrower strips from that larger opening. Now to avoid this scenario, uh, you can detail user reinforcement to ensure that the reinforcement is detailed per your specifications or basically according to the wider column strips if you choose. Now let's take a look at the south side of the opening where the design strips were basically omitted at where basically the design strips were omitted and as a result no program reinforcement is detailed in this particular area. Now at this location I would like RAM concept to detail program reinforcement. To accomplish this, I can manually model design sections or create a design span at the south side of the opening. Now for this particular video, I'm going to choose to manually model some design sections. So let's return to the latitude design spans plan. Now in RAM concept, a design section is equivalent to one design strip cross section. Design sections have similar properties to the design strips and they can be used when you only require design information at one or a few cross sections rather than for an entire span. Now to set up your design sections you can go to your layer specific toolbar and double click on the design section icon. This will allow you to enter your default design section properties. Now the majority of these properties are very similar to the properties that we would specify when setting up a design span. 
for this particular model, I've already entered all of the design parameters and default section properties that I'm interested in. Once your default design section properties are entered, go ahead and click OK, and we can see that our icon is still active. Now for this particular model, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a couple of design sections in this area. Again, what that will accomplish for me is to ensure that program reinforcement is available or detailed in the areas that are not hatched. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to create one at either side of the opening. and one somewhere in the middle. Once I'm done, let's go ahead and zoom on out and re-perform a preliminary calculation. Now that the calculation has been performed, let's return to the reinforcement layer for the latitude direction. Now here, what I can see as a result of putting in those design sections, that bars have been detailed through that area that is not hatched. So this is a great way to go ahead and take a look at your hatching, understand where reinforcement won't be detailed, and then to use some of these tools in order to get that detailing to happen for program reinforcement. At this point, I'm fairly satisfied with how the reinforcement is being detailed in the vicinity of my small slab opening. Now, if this opening was shifted, maybe in a column line or somewhere else within the slab, you may wanna spend a little bit of extra time understanding the relationship between your design strips and your program reinforcement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.